Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to Dragon Age Inquisition where I have the microphone on the box again so I apologize if you hear it move hear my chair a little louder than normal um, I haven't figured out a better way to make the microphone sit so so we're gonna stick with the way we've had it gee it always seems louder when I play Dragon Age Inquisition. Like, any other game, it's fine, but for some reason, it's freaking really loud while I'm playing Dragon Age. Just Inquisition, though, not Origins. Um, so our face isn't rendering. Uh, I just finished reading uh, the new... Hold on, hold on a second. I gotta get situated. Okay, this is better. Now I'm situated, and I won't be loud and noisy. But, okay, I just finished reading my friend, friend who sometimes is in the other Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, she just got me the Dragon Age art book for a very late, very, very late birthday present. And I just finished reading it while I was editing Origins gameplay. And I'll have you know, I had started editing Inquisition footage. Uh, it's giving me... I, I finally found a way to make... The skipping problem all but go away. That was in like, because I recorded the first ones ages ago, and, and it won't matter to you at this point because I'm recording audio separately, and I'm keeping it on 720 30 frames per second. Um, which since this is the Xbox 360 version, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter because it's not a very super de duper de pretty game anyway. <laughs> um, but I just finished reading the Dragon Age Inquisition art book, and it like, what could you do? After reading the art book, besides play the game, like I, I immediately wanted to just start playing again. It's it's been a little while. It hasn't been too terribly long, but it has been a while. And I just okay. Interesting thing I'm gonna say though is that apparently okay. So they said it was reading in the beginning, like in the prologue thing. It said that the ideal like the ideal character in Dragon Age Origins was a warrior. It's a warden. Um, in Dragon Age 2 is a mage. Because I think it's when like the Templars and the mages are starting to really get aggravated at each other. And it's like you're the best. Like That's how the, the developers kind of sort of, I guess, saw the game through the eyes in Origins as a warrior. In 2 as a mage. And in Inquisition, they saw it from a more rogue point of view. Which I didn't really think about at all. And it was, there was a couple really interesting things. And actually, I'm gonna go kind of look. I didn't notice this in my first playthrough of Inquisition, but apparently, the advisor that you choose to solve most of your problems or, or whose ideas you follow through with or something, um, it changes how the war table is. Like, if you use Cullen, it's like uh, more like lions, I think, and stuff, or something. Maybe that's Joseph. I think that was Cullen. But if you choose Liliana, the underside of the table kind of, and apparently, like, it was saying, like, decor in the castle, which I never really noticed. But, okay, so apparently, under the table is supposed to change over time. I never, it didn't, we didn't see anything there now. Um, but also, um, but yeah, it's kind of supposed to be like skeletons and stuff. Is, is what it looked like in the art book under the table. If it was abandoned when we arrived. Who named this place Skyhold? Solus says it changed hands so many times <laughs> the original builders can't be traced. I read the house of Armitage once built a fortress in the vicinity five ages ago, but the records are lost. Okay. It's been a long time since Trespasser came out. And if you don't want to hear Trespasser spoilers, which are very integrated to the end of, or of Dragon Age Inquisition, then plug your ears for a little bit. But freaking I know... Even though I didn't see it on my own playthrough, somebody told me about it and I had to go watch a video of it just to be sure. But depending on which conversation, like, tree, one of the dialogue options you chose, Solus actually tells you that Skyhold was his 
was originally his. And I that blew my mind. Blew my mind. So I've been kind of avoiding saying anything about Trespasser because I'm not sure if people who watch this play on predominantly on the Xbox 360, which means that they wouldn't have been able to play. Um, really? You did not notice? I had what? no idea Lady oh. Beverly was <laughs> one of your people. You might have told me before I embarrassed myself. Nice. Um, but, yeah, anyway, I don't know. So, I've been, I, I try not to say too much about Trespasser, but, oh my gosh, like, I, I, at this point, there's no way I, I can't, it, in some ways, have it just explode from me. Inquisitor Lavelle and I have joined my sisters in dinner in Chantry. It is grander than the Chantry, my former village. I believe I can do some good here. I found a charity to aid those the breach in the Fade Rifts impacted. I tell all who ask that the Inquisition made this possible. Maker's blessings upon you, Sister Paulette. Okay. Good, good. I'm glad. Hopefully she's, uh... Okay, that's, that's good. Search for the hack rider. Bargain. Oh, yeah. Uh, lead against the demons. Uh, whores, guard captain, Ansberg. Ansberg was actually the name of the kid who was in Haven. It wasn't the name of a city. So I'm a little bit confused. Okay, we must make the Countess see reason. Oh, right, right. Her personal guard could help Sir Barris fight these demons. Are mages calling out these demons, or is it the veil there thin? We should investigate before we send Sir Barris. This isn't a battle to siege inside the city. Armor veterans against the Sir Barris. I trust him to lead them. Yes. We'll send Cullen out to do that one. Um. Okay. Uh. So anyway, if, if it's true what the art book says and that your whichever sort of because the whole advisor thing I, I never really it never really seemed too terribly important but apparently i mean it, it is fairly obvious by the end of the game what happens to leliana depending on which kind of route you choose and i said in the beginning i kind of wanted to see her go a softer route but i don't think like looking at her and talon together when they talk i just don't see that happening so, we'll see how that goes. I, I, I'm not sure if you can affect Josephine in any way, really, or, or Cullen. You might be able to make Cullen harder, but it's, I think him and Josephine's, like, they're, the catalyst for them is the personal quests you get from them, I, I think. I know with Leliana, her personal quest, by the time you get it, I think that how she's been hardened or not affects how that quest turns out, but I'm not, I'm not totally 100% on that. Uh, uh, are they, are the others busy? They should not be busy. It has been a long time. Oh, and apparently, like, the art book was going on about how these symbols mean certain things. And I could tell that in, in some ways, but in other ways, there's, I can't, I mean, this is a triangle, and that's kind of like a triangle with a thingy on top of it, and that's the thing that I have to get, and, and, it, I just don't know, it's, it's, these are like places that I need to open up. Oh, right, it's Gillinane's Grove, okay. Oh yeah, and that's repairing the bridge. I think that's where we were at last, was the Exalted Plains. Um, yeah, okay, so opening up areas is the triangles. Sort of, yeah. I'm, okay. False accusations. What? Cullen, your concerns regarding the lack of conclusive evidence found in the Wending Wood incident were well placed. Rumors of blood magic drew out our Templars, as intended, it seems. Some mages say our men were responsible for the murders. More Templar zealots persecuting the innocent was forced. Another murder was reported shortly after our people left. Lady Dahlia claims the victim was her daughter, not a mage at all, though it's rumored she sympathized with her plight. We need to say a temple sigil was found nearby. After the events in Kirkwall, 
and the fighting in the hinterlands. People fear extremists on both sides. If word spreads that we've lost control of the Templars, as the Chantry did before us, we may lose support from the nobility in Amaranthian, or worse, Denerim, from Leliana. Whoa. Lady Dahlia claims ignorance of her daughter's political leanings. I doubt that's true. My agents will infiltrate the mage group, spreading the rumors. Josephine's got the shorter time. But I would prefer to get the information that I would get from infiltrating the mage groups. Let's check and see if there's any no well let's just let's just do it. Okay, we'll just do it. Okay. Inquisitor. Oh right, recent Evangeline. Oh right, I did not want to do the gold thing. I did this last time and I think I but I think that would be a really good idea. So we'll we'll have to see. Oh yeah, shoot! Oh man, I forgot. The Inquisition. I found bandits stalking your patrols. They are the usual kind, and I can show you people where they are. I'd have tried to stop them, but they have swords, and I don't. If you have extra, I will help. I want to help. Um, shoot. I think last time I actually made his uh him a like a rogue type for Liliana. So we'll have to to serve any master. Oh right, right. This. Um. Sure. Yeah. Inquisitor. You go. Go ahead and go get them. Uh, can we open up? We've opened up. So that's the western approach, which we have not opened. We opened the Exalted Plains. Where was... Contacting the Emerald Graves. The oh, so we have opened the Western Approach. That's the... Oh, it's the other one. Can't remember. I do kind of want to open that one up, though. I'm not worried about the shards right now. Uh, okay. I know we did a whole lot of chatting last time. I'm pretty sure, anyway. That's where we were doing. I just, I remember, I remember we, we made things go pretty far with Dorian. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. Which was fun. And I was telling my friend about it. I was like, see, why can't all the romances be like this? Where you can just run up and, like, even... You don't have to look at it. Or you don't have to, like... like so, like, I run up and I'm like, hey, let's spend time together. And he's like, okay, let's do a funny little prank or something. And you don't necessarily see it, but it's nice to know that it happened. Nice to know that that's an option, you know? I think... Do I... I don't think I need to talk to Josephine. I don't want, I don't want to right now. I like Josephine. I do. She's sweet, but... I'm busy. <laughs> I got, I got things to be doing. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure, if Inquisitor? if Varric's options have changed. I've got a minute if you need something. Okay, I think we have talked about these things. Carry on. Carry on. It's so weird being a dude. You know what I... Wait, wait, wait. Did I... I didn't... I did mess around in the armory before, but I still don't have a lot of stuff. So I think what I actually do want to do is I actually want to go check out the Black Emporium really quickly. Let's see. So these are the places we have open. Val Royo. Oh, I do want to do that too. Mm-hmm-hmm. -hmm. Exalted Plains. All right, but first, I do want to run by the Black Emporium to see if they've got any cool armor. Well, he does, but I want to see if there's anything I can afford. It's interesting knowing that this game was kind of a little slightly built around the idea of having a rogue in charge. And 
some of their concepts for rogue armor, I was I was dying. I was like, please, why isn't this actually in the... That's the trouble with reading an art book or in, like, looking at all the concept art and the beautiful, like, the final drawings is that they don't ever translate well into a video game. Very rarely do you get the flow, like, the flowing hair and, like, the extravagant detail... Like, the attention to detail that you can get in a sketch, it just, it just doesn't translate well into a game. I know the PC version is prettier than this one, but, I mean, I, he, I think he looks pretty bad, eh, like this. The hood just makes it. Like, I, I love it. I love the hood. And I don't think I've actually taken him out since I dyed his, his armor all, like, gray. I have quite an extensive oh, library read. on the history of forbidden magic. Oh, I didn't read this before. Oh. It's back there. Somewhere. I, I, I think. I haven't been able to turn my head to look for two centuries. So weird. The bear! Weapons and accessories. Schematics of legend. Schematics. Uh. Oh, well, let's check. Oh, I don't want to sell. Um. That was a big disappointment to me when I was a Dalish warrior. It was really sad. See, the problem with... Oh, so it goes... Oh, so the more awesome things are up here. Oh, that's nice. Um... The only... Yeah, the only problem with this is that I have to save... Go... Buy this, and then... Go try it on. You know what I mean? Um... I think we'll just stick... I actually really like what he's got on right now. So, I'm not gonna worry about it. Where's my... Back Not gonna worry about it. Alright, well, let's see. Where do we want to go from here? We want to go... Let's go... No, no, no. Let's go to Val Royo. Um... They are over there. We'll just... We'll just pop into here. Who should I bring with me to Val Royo? Let's bring Dorian and Kishandra and Iron Bolt. Yeah? Maybe? No, I want to bring Sarah. Yeah, let's bring Sarah. Just for kicks. We'll see if they chit chat. I don't know if they'll have enough time. I don't think we're like really doing an extended stay. You know, we're not like hanging out, running around Val Royo all over the place. I do want to buy more of the decor and stuff. I think the decor you... Can you buy decor or do you have to find it? I know you find the thrones. But I think you have to buy the curtains and the drapery. Yeah, and I do want to do that. I want to get a bunch of stuff this time. I want to really pimp out my... my, my my castle as best I can. <laughs> I am kind of disappointed. Like, the, the art book goes, like, shows all this detail, like, all this drapery and stuff. And in reality, the drapery is, like, kind of shoved to the side in the shadows, you know? Like, in the main hall. It's not really that important or extravagant. But the decor really changes it up. It changes the feel up. I don't know how much decor there actually is. Oh boy, everybody needs... Everybody needs some attention. Everybody's getting tipsy. Oh yeah, she's got the... Okay. The alchemical stuff. Icy skin, increases your armor, freezes any mage that strike you in melee range. Your experience with those has made you better for potions potion other consumables, letting you carry more of them at a time and giving you a chance not... Not to use an elixir when you activate an elixir ability. This ability does not apply to healing potions. Or when your stamina is lost, you fight harder. Um, 
effects of your elixirs last longer if you activate one immediately after another expires. You can use more concentrated elixirs that give you an uncanny edge in battle. You do bonus damage with all attacks for a short time whenever you use an elixir or potion. The effect stacks. What is this one? Yeah, I'm fire. I actually like the frost one better. It does actually seem to do some damage. Like it's got like it like damage resistance, duration, freeze duration, cooldown time, cost, duration, cooldown time, cost. You know. Uh, also taunts all nearby enemies to attack you. That's not good. We'll get that one. And also that one. And then oh I don't think I have any of those other stealth abilities, which would be good to get. Oh shoot. You can move faster while firing. Does more each consecutive one does more damage. This is a really good one. Uh it's five percent. This one's a good one. Right, yes. Uh, maybe we'll give her the pin cushion one. Yeah, I don't she doesn't really have a lot of defensive abilities yet. And that's probably not very good, but we'll get those in time. Oops. Oh, I'm gorgeous. Look at me. Jeez. Iron Bull. We do have the Ring of Pain. The passive abilities for Reaver are awesome. Nice. Rampage is awesome. I want to make sure he's got all the guard, though, that he can... So he does have Unbowed... You get a bonus to maximum guard. Dur, 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 unbowed. Further improves your guard for each enemy nearby, giving you the strength to stay on your feet. Let's do that one. I need his defense to be up a little bit before his offense is up because last time the way I had him done, he died really quickly and a lot. And I don't know, my friend was the same way with Iron Bull. And he's supposed to be the one that's, like, the big guy who, like, you can depend on in a fight, you know? Like, but Blackwall was the guy I went to consistently because he was the one who could, who would, he would consistently be the last one standing. Like, even I would be dead, and if I fought as Blackwall, I would live. Or he would live, and then i just kind of, you know, do what he was doing because... Because that was the only way to do it. Uh, I don't really like Dorian's uh, fate ability. Killing enemies attracts spirits that increase the power of your spells. You're knocked unconscious. A spirit you control takes on your likeness and fights on your behalf for a short time. The spirit draws magic directly from the fate, casting spells without cost. You cannot be revived by any means until the spirit leaves. And then we have Walking Bomb or spirit mark that one was kind of annoying it made the battles a cluster cuss like literally like it really was like very difficult to because like dorian had fire and then i had like earth shattering strike with fire blackwell had earth shattering strike, freaking and then we'd have like an enemy fighting for us and it was it was a pain in the butt uh so we could do the simulacre simul i can never say that word Simulacrum. Or we could get the Wall of Fire. I really wanted the Wall of Fire. Oh, I have that one. That's good. Okay, right? Looks like I. Looks like I. I looks like I don't actually, because it's not lit in white, but it's lit from. Lit from blue on both sides. Let's get water fire. <laughs> what was the other one we were looking at? Oh yeah, it was a passive ability. It's good. We'll get him more now. He's got four offensive abilities. That's good. 
<laughs> okay, well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Yay. Let's go shopping a little bit. Just a little bit. We'll just go a little bit of shopping. Oh, the costume look, or the, the armor looks much darker in um, darker places. Uh -huh. No, no, no. We don't want to go shopping. We need to dye Dorian's armor. Good golly, Molly. Holy crap. And my leather needs to... Do I need to dye my... I think that was the darkest leather I could find. And I couldn't dye his pants. That aggravated me. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, oh, that's right. I don't have a whole lot of stuff right now, though. So it's kind of useless. I did... Oh, shoot. We got... We should... We should... For the, for the XP, we got to read all these. Read... Uh, reading, 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 reading. Ek. What? Was there something else there? No? Oh, it's over there. Move, Iron Bull! Your bum is so fat. It's funny, the last picture in the art book was actually of Iron Bull. Like a big two page spread. Basically, was it was our bolt. It looked cool, but it kind of looked like also kind of looked like fan art. It seemed like a weird, like there was no like, hey, this is the end of the art book. It just kind of ended, and I was like, oh, okay. I think do I get extra XP for reading these? Do I, do I have that perk yet? For reading. I think, yeah, no, I have all the perks that involve history and all that, so. I should, I think that's involved in it. Um. I, oh. Bye. So he only has accessories. Oh. And valuables? Why would I ever buy valuables? Um, let's see, do I have anything in valuables I can, nope, okay. Uh, oh, whose is that? Blackwall, I need to give that to Blackwall. No, Blackwall gets the... Can I wear that? Or is that really low? What am I wearing right now? It's like the same thing. Are the buckles different? No, they're the same. They're just different colors. Okay. Wait, nope. Oh. I don't know, actually. Can Cole have those? Don't know, don't care. Ah! Oh my! Oh no! Okay, he's over. The guy we want to, that we want to talk to eventually is over there. Where am I trying? I'm trying to go. Is that dwarf wearing? She's not wearing a mask. I was like, whoa, she's like gone all the way. We want to go over here, where the drapery lives. Woo is there? I think I read something about the apple tree already. You must Why admit not? that new leadership would be refreshing. I admit nothing of the sort. Empress Celine is a fine leader. You only say such because you've navigated her game unscathed. What other measure would I use? That is all lay. Thanks. It's true. The game is meaningless to anyone who is not involved in it. But those who are involved in it, it's a game of life and death. For very stupid <coughs> reasons. Monsieur Glove. Monsieur Glove. I'm not trying to. I'm actually trying. Monsieur. Monsieur. No, I. Not. I think I've already examined that. Ooh, read. Three little empresses. And that's part of the songs, apparently. Cool, cool. Can I. I think I can talk to you, guy. Um, nope, I need to, boop, boop, 
Inari glass. Dalish glass. I don't already have Inquisition drapery. What? I kind of like, I would like to get the Elvish stuff out of like the Elven drapery and the Dalish drapery just because that's what I like. But I also, I kind of want to try other things. I think I got Kunari glass uh, during to, 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 to Trespasser. If they have, I might be interesting to try to venture stuff, but Ferelden, Dwarven, Dalish. I don't want Orlesian bed. Oh, I think I have the Free Marches bed right now. I did like the second Free Marches bed. We'll buy the Dalish glass. I enjoyed. I I really did like that one. Or I could get a dwarven bed. I wish it would let you see what they look like. Uh, we could get to Vinter drapery. Banner. I don't have. I thought I had all the banners. Chassine drapery. Um, let's get to it. They do have a very distinct style, you know? Found three out of seven windows. Hoorah! Hoorah! Two out of, oh my gosh, drapes. Oh, there is a whole area up here we could go look at, too. They have, like, a... Oh, have we already? I think we have already been here. I do really enjoy this little area. I would love to see it in the PC. It's probably covered in gorgeous trees. This guy has books, right? Hey, guy. Inquisitor, welcome. Thanks to your investment, I have all manner of runners scouring the. And the paper that looks like a bird. If you there's see that? a tome that eludes you, I will endeavor to fill the gaps. I will not deny you a good story. I think that's actually his skull. Or something. I don't know what that is, but it was terrifying. Alright, let's see. I think he has book. <gasps> this is where I can get tonics! Oh, 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 oh. But I don't, oh, I don't want tonics. I want grenades. I need to look up where to get grenades. I looked up where to get exotic mounts. And that, that the exotic mounts were actually something I didn't want. So these are things that I missed, apparently. Samson's tail. By Samson's Tale. I think that was well, not. I thought it might be a song. It's so weird that there's a merchant, but there's like a separate thing you have to go to. I'm spending all the monies. Orlesian Army. No, I know. Yeah, so this guy sells schematics. Straight up schematics. I like my bow. I like my current bow. Will it, matter? it does matter. Of course. of course it matters. Always matters. Okay, we're actually gonna go. This one might run a little bit long, but we're actually gonna go do something. No. Okay, no, we should probably, we'll separate it. That way. That way people don't have to miss out on it and watch the... Now, I met Madame de Fer once, years ago, at an Imperial Ball. Impressive. Did she say anything to you? She said I was short, and she patted me on the head. I. It's something. That's something. 
You know what? I did. I, I read the first two Dragon Age books. The third one's got something to do with a lot to do with Dragon Age two, so I haven't read it yet. But um, apparently, Duncan was actually a thief at one point, which makes Alistair's comment interesting about why Duncan recruited the thief. But I think I think if I read it right, he also actually in a just happenstance sort of thing slept with um, Madame de Fer. I don't remember what we call her. Vivian. Slept with Vivian. At, but they were like 16 or something. I don't know. Um, so that means she's pretty old in this one. If that's the case. But no, we'll call it here. Today was I'm just kind of getting back into things. I wanted to really I'm, I'm looking. I'm not looking at my guy even though he looks good. I'm looking at Orlay. Because reading the art book just made me want to get back into this as fast as I could. and just Because it is a gorgeous game. It is. I mean, I know it's pretty... Like I'm, When I played on the Xbox One, it was very, very... In some, The foliage was nicer. But in some ways, the characters looked a little weirder. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll call this one here. Um, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. I have started editing at this point, uh, which still is a freaking long time since I've since I haven't started uploading. Anyway, I'm just playing. I, I just want to make sure I have a bunch edited and ready to upload. That they'll be ready to upload for a long time, so that I don't mess things up with this one, especially because I want to play The Witcher Three, Mass Effect Two, and Dragon Age Two, all possibly at the same time. So, I just want to make sure that this one has a bunch edited and ready to go before I actually start uploading it. Just so it's not totally inconsistent for you guys. But anyway, again, thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.